Please turn your attention to the stage and join us for an exciting celebration of music, mischief, and minions. It's time to get happy. My buddy, Mr. Larry Kurzweil. All right, there. Thank you, Mario. Hey, you know what? First, as I, as I look around, there's great attendance here today. If you haven't already put your yellow hats on, let's get it on. There's something about how the sun looks down on the minions and everything gets yellow and it makes us all happy. So, way to go. Anyway, thank you, Mario. And thank you all for joining us today as we celebrate this very exciting opening of Despicable Me Minion Mayhem and Super Silly Funland at Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of L.A. Yeah. I'd also like to acknowledge some very special guests who are with us today. Please join me in welcoming L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti, Chris Melodandre, the founder and CEO of Illumination Entertainment, and the creator of those adorable minions, the vice chairman of NBC Universal, Ron Meyer, and the chairman and CEO of Universal Parks and Resorts, Tom Williams. I also want to welcome Miranda Cosgrove, 
Dana Geyer and Elsie Fisher. The actors we've come to love and know is the endearing Margot, Edith, and Agnes from the Despicable Me movies. I'd also like to uh, take this time to thank uh, the president of Universal Creative, Mark Woodbury, and his creative team, whose imagination inspires us all. LA Tourism Board President and CEO, and a very good friend, Ernie Wooden, for his partnership. And of course, the entire Universal Studios Hollywood team for their dedication to excellence on so many fronts. The premiere of Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem represents more than a ride opening. It's an integral part of Universal Studio Hollywood's epic five-year transformation that's already underway. As the number one tourist destination in Los Angeles, Universal Studios Hollywood is shifting in to high gear, reimagining our world-class destination with a slate of compelling new rides and attractions set amid immersive environments just like what you see right here today. This is a pivotal time in our history as we build upon our extraordinary success and expand our vision for the future. For nearly 50 years, we have been proudly rooted in creating unparalleled entertainment that immerses our guests in the awe-inspiring world of movie-making magic. Today, we are thrilled to take you into the irreverent world of Despicable Me, where you can spend time with your favorite supervillain group and enjoy a rare opportunity to actually become transformed into a minion. <laughs> On that note, next I'd like to introduce the Vice Chairman of NBC Universal, our very special leader who helps us all see the world through yellow tinted glasses. Let's give a warm welcome to Ron Meyer. Thank you. I'm, I'm pleased to be here with all of you celebrating our latest attraction, uh, Despicable Me, Minya Mayhem. First, I want to recognize my friend, Illumination Entertainment's Chris Melodondri, for his extraordinary vision and creativity as he is the mastermind behind the Minions and is one of NBC Universal's most valued partners. <laughs> Universal Pictures and Illumination Entertainment have a lengthy relationship dating back to the release of the original Despicable Me in 2010 and will continue for years to come with our Minion movie scheduled for July 2015 and Despicable Me 3 planned for June of 2017. <laughs> The Despicable Me franchise has grossed over $1.5 billion worldwide and appeals now to people of all ages. It was only natural that the franchise be transformed into a theme park attraction enjoyable for the entire family, which is why we're here today. The Minions are Universal Studios' 21st century Mickey Mouse. We're excited to share with you what Minions, millions of visitors each year will get to experience. Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, a 3D ride in Super Silly Funland, an imaginative and interactive play area. There are many people to thank today. But we must start with Tom Williams, Chairman and CEO of Universal Parks and Resorts Worldwide, for his great leadership and vision. Thank you, Tom. Mark Woodbury, President of Universal Creative for Universal Parks and Resorts. The staggering creativity is felt not only with this attraction, but with every experience in our parks worldwide. Larry Kurzweil, who leads an extraordinary group here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Also crucial to the company's success are the creative and operations teams and the employees in the park who greet our guests at the gate. Help our visitor experience our attractions and lead the world famous studio tour. This investment and the transformation of our property was made possible by the commitment of two community leaders. We are fortunate to have strong, decisive leaders in both the city and the county of Los Angeles. County Supervisor Zeb Yaroslavsky has been a passionate community advocate for almost 40 years. He can't be here with us today, but his leadership has been key to the evolution of this property. 
My friend, City Councilman Tom Labange, has served his constituents with dedication, and unmatched energy, and love for our city for over 30 years. We are grateful for his support. I would also like to acknowledge State Assembly Member Adrienne Nazirian, who is here with us on this special day. It's now my privilege to introduce a native Angelino who shares my love for the city. He's dedicated his career to revitalizing neighborhoods, creating jobs, and making our city the greatest place to live and work. A highly affected and well-respected leader, he has earned the continual support of his constituents and has proven and has a proven track record of finding positive solutions for LA families. We are very fortunate to have him with us today and fortunate to have him as our mayor, the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti. How's everybody doing? Hello, opinion lovers. Welcome to the most creative city anywhere on the face of the earth. And welcome to the most creative spot in that most creative city, right here at Universal Studios. And Los Angeles loves Universal Studios. And today, thank you to Universal for your love of your hometown. I want to thank everybody who is here. Ron, thank you for that kind introduction. Thank you, Larry, as well, for your leadership. And Chris, congratulations to you and your team for not only changing the landscape of film and animation, but for moving us, for touching us in our hearts, for making us laugh for bringing these guys who, there you go, give us a jumping jack, beautiful. Look at those moves, come on, give it up for the minions who have reimagined what it means to create and to express. The success of your teams collectively and these little yellow creatures have been nothing if not spectacular. With Despicable Me, Despicable Me grossing over $540 million worldwide, and Despicable Me 2, the fourth highest grossing animation film of all time, and it still could become number one, it is the highest grossing film in Universal Pictures history. Let's give it up for Despicable Me. And it's clear that your success here at Universal isn't just about films, it's also about tourism. Because people come to Los Angeles because they want to feel something about that movie making magic. Now they're going to come to a place where they can not only feel it, they can immerse themselves in. And we know that from the ride, from the attraction, from the experience that people will have, as a couple friends of mine who came through the previews from a small town in Michigan just two weeks ago, trust me, those kids, their lives will never be the same again. And you've been a great part of why last year we had a record tourism year. More people visited Los Angeles than in any year in our history, over 42.2 million. And we're well on our way to our goal of 50 million visitors by 2020, and Universal is going to be responsible for half of that increase. So again, thank you for pushing hard. We're on track. Why is that important? Well, that means that our hotels are filled, 77%, the highest level we've ever had. And when they're filled, that means that there's jobs for Angelinos. And when there's jobs for Angelinos, that means I can do things like pave the streets, take care of our streets, make sure we have great neighborhoods, reduce our traffic here. So it's part of a virtuous cycle. When we have great creativity, when it's brought here, when people come here and spend their money here, that means that Los Angeles can continue to invest in its future. So thank you. I'm so bullish on this city. I want to say a word about Gru, though. As a leader, I think Gru is a terrible example. And I want to make sure that we take the lessons of Gru. Never lead with hatred, always lead with love. But always remember that even our greatest villains can indeed have a heart of gold. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much. And here's to LA's future and a great universal chapter. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Fired up after that. Those are fight words, though, as far as Drew's concerned. Now, it is almost time we are getting dangerously close to cutting this ribbon. But first, what is this? We think we have another visitor coming our way. I see more minions coming. Looks like Groove must have heard you, Mr. Mayor, because here he comes with his minions. We're taking a little time off to join the party. He's slowly ambling his way to, uh-oh, I don't like the look on his face. Drew, of course, is the most super of all super villains in the long, previous history of villainry. He's aided by his army of minions and his chief scientist, Dr. Nefario Gru, has truly left his mark on the world. Haven't you, Gru? See, he's speaking. Hello, Universal! <laughs> My Gru, one of the greatest supervillains of all time. Oh, that's not for me to say. You should say, because it's true. 
It is true. Once again, Gru is officially the greatest supervillain of all time. <laughs> now, now, Gru and Minions were almost ready to cut the ribbon and get this ride open. Oh, what are you waiting for? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm waiting for. First, first, I'd like to introduce a few more special guests. Uh, ladies and gentlemen and minions, please welcome Miranda Cosgrove, Dana Geyer, Elsie Fisher, Margo Edith, and Agnes from Despicable Me. Hey, Gru, we have a present for you from Dr. Navario. We're going to use this detonator to break the ribbon. the doors will open. But first, please stay where you are and enjoy this opportunity to take pictures and videos and post them for you and your friends at hashtag Minion Ride. Your minionization will soon begin when a universal host comes to guide you to the ride door entrance. Wait for your host, follow them to the door, enter the ride, and prepare to find your inner minion at Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. 